anything is possible. If you want to succeed in life, there's many obstacles you can overcome with someone helping you to guide you through the positive things in life. I am Andrew Bravant. I am from Red Pheasant First Nation. My parents, they helped me a lot to succeed in life and to finish high school. I started out my first semester bad. Coming back to Canada was kind of starting out hard, but after a while when I got used to getting back into my work habits, trying to get good grades, handing in assignments, and the goals I wanted to complete were to do an electrician course in February, that is five months, and to have a good paying job to provide for uh, my family. I'm gonna miss ha hanging out with the friends, um, having the open gym, and I know just chilling and talking to the teachers. And uh, that's all I got. Yeah. I don't know, just believing in in yourself, I guess, to achieve something that you really want. My name is Lois Edenas. I am from Beardies and Okamasa's First Station. You do what you have to do to get things done. It has to get done. I had to get over my laziness with homework and stuff like that. Um, uh, moving from place to place was a struggle because it interfered with school. Um, just getting the work done, but I got it done anyway. <laughs> the people I live with is, is uh, with Kenneth and his family and my family back home. Uh, I was thinking of business plan to open up my own store. Uh, maybe or there was a lot of things I wanted to do. I wanted to get into designing clothes or uh, interior design, cooking. There's a lot of things I wanted to do. I've learned that you can do whatever you put your mind to. My name is Brittany Roan from Ermin Skin Creation. Um, I'd have to say my grandpa Clarence and my uncle Ruben for um, waking me up in the mornings and encouraging me to go to school every day and also my auntie and my mom for pushing me to finish school also. Also I wanted to finish school for my son and to give him like a better life or whatever. I'm going to miss art class. That's my favorite class. And seeing my friends every day. My goal is to finish university and get a degree in dental hygiene and uh, I think that would make my family proud of me because I'd be the first member of the family to actually finish university. My name is Felicitia Musuman. I'm from Mosquito Reserve. My family, my children really helped me a lot. They're supporting me. Well, they encouraged me to go back to school, especially my sisters. But my sister helps me a lot because she works near the school here. She works at the daycare. So I travel with her every morning. Mm, I learn a lot. But sometimes <laughs> I'm having a hard time with assignments, especially ELA. That's the problem I have. Social studies, that's what I really like. I'm going to miss the goofy boys that always say everything in the class, stupid thing. <laughs> and I'm going to miss Mr. Amy. He's the best teacher. Five years down the line, I want to be a child care educator. Work with kids, because I love working with kids. I love kids. Seeing the people on the reservation doing nothing, I just felt like I had to do something with my life. My name is Vernon Farringstoney. I'm from Mosquito, Lean Man, Grizzly Bearhead. I currently go to school in Kando. I am doing my grade 12. And mostly it was my brother Joseph that 
really encourage me to do this and seeing them work seeing them have a good impression on me while I, while he was working done a real big impact on me so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing I guess I see myself in five years hopefully having my journeyman certificate and my carpentry hopefully working for a big company that's the main thing that I'm focusing on never stop what you are doing <clears throat> listen to your instincts I'm Rosella Jamie Musiman I'm from Mosquito First Nation mm, I say the teachers in my family who really helped me. I'm just gonna miss the staff and then my teachers especially because they helped me so much. Working, working as a loans manager, I mean, lo working as a financial institution loans manager and also working with children <coughs> and teenagers as a volunteer and chaperone. <laughs> Not to waste your time, I'll tell you that. My name is Jeff Curley. I'm from Mosquito Reservation. My grandma for yelling at me every morning to get up, and harassing me, <laughs> and that's about it. It was all me. Me! I'm gonna miss giving the teachers a hard time. I'm gonna miss giving my fellow students a hard time. And I'm going to miss Miss Palinuk. Miss Palinuk. I'm going to miss her. I see myself at the U of A completing my degree in law. I don't know. Life just seems better if you actually go out there and want to succeed at something. Don't think you're too cool for school because you just really, at the end of the day, you're just a fool. Yeah, a fool. My name is Melanie Benson from Red Pheasant Reserve. Who helped me achieve graduation is my children. I wanted to um, graduate before my oldest daughter does, and she's 16, so she'll be graduating in another couple years. The struggles I overcame uh, going to school in these past two years is uh, sacrificing my job and not working. Um, not making any money, so that was a big sacrifice for me and my kids. Uh, the thing I'm going to miss about high school is probably the teachers and um, just coming to school every day with the kids, my kids. <clears throat> Finishing high school, I've learned um, that it takes a lot of uh, motivation, um, sacrifice, and a lot of hard work. I see myself in five years. Um, with a nursing degree or teaching degree, one of the two. Um, just being successful, that's what I want. I learned that there can be so much things uh, in ahead of me that I, that I must accomplish more. My name is Alexander Wapas, and I'm from Thunderchild First Nation. Who helped me achieve graduation is my cousin, Chris. He was more like a an inspiration because we are we're the same age we've been through school since kindergarten so ever since then I've been trying hard to stay in school what I'm gonna miss more likely just hanging around with friends picking on the teachers <laughs> something fun what I see myself doing in five years is finishing college, trying to get a better job to support my stepdaughter and to learn more, to achieve more. Maybe take up uh, medical medicine, I mean. Try to go for my medicine. 
because I always wanted to be a doctor. My goals would probably follow my dream, playing college basketball. To stay in shape. I've learned that hard work and dedication pays off in the end. My name is Averly Stone and I am from Mosquito Grizzly Bears Head Lean Man First Nation. Uh, my family was very supportive of me and they wanted me to come back to high school and get my diploma. Um, my boyfriend, who was always there in the mornings with my coffee and to wake me up and everything. And myself, it was me. It, was a lot. it had a lot to do with me coming back and getting this over and done with after how many unsuccessful tries. It was hard like waking up every morning, but I did it anyways because I didn't want to have to come back to high school for another year when I could just easily do it all right here. I'll miss the companionship with my fellow classmates and the guidance that the teachers have given me. There's so many teachers that I've met throughout my whole life. I plan to go into SIAS and work with my, work into uh, the dental hygienist program. It's a two-year program, so I'm gonna have to be really dedicated in order to finish that one. My name is Courtney Machiskinik. I'm from Yellow Quill First Nation. My teachers, myself, Andrew and his family, they encouraged me to finish school, help me with my homework. I am going to miss hanging out with friends and joking around with the teachers. That school is important. You need to finish school to get a good job and to have a good life. Getting up in the mornings. I don't like early, getting up early. <laughs> Hopefully it be a nurse, helping people. I have learned that getting a high school education leads to better things and a better outlook on life. Uh, my name is Kai Musuman. I'm from Mosquito Reserve. The people who helped me achieve graduation would be my mother, the teachers here at Kando, and myself. The hardest part was getting to school every day and finishing the work. I'm going to miss the coming to school every day, seeing everyone's faces, and just the whole school thing. <laughs> after, after high school, I would like to go back to school to become a social worker. I would like to go to the First Nations University. In five years, I see myself so doing social work. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable But in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life